Welcome back to my Houston Texans franchise rebuild here on Madden 22. Today we are headed into week 18 of season five and we are still fighting for a playoff spot. As of right now, we are the fifth seed, but we have yet to secure a playoff spot. So if we lose today, there is a scenario somehow where we miss the playoffs. But with that being said, there's also a scenario where we are the two seed because if Jacksonville loses and we win, we both finish 11 and six and we beat them both times. So we would get the tiebreaker and go into the playoffs as the two seed. But let's take a look at the team we are playing. The Steelers are led by quarterback Jalen Hurts. At running back, they have a 95 overall Najee Harris. At wide receiver, they have an 85 overall Deontay Johnson and an 80 overall Terry Branson. At tackle is Pat Fryermuth. At left tackle is an 85 Jake Hauser. Left guard's an 81. Center's an 81. Right guard's an 80. And right tackle is an 80. So they have a very good offensive line. On defensive end, they have an 83 overall Emmanuel Ogba. At the right end, they have an 80 overall. At defensive tackle, an 89 Derek Terry, who is only in his second year, and a 79 overall tackle. At outside linebacker, they have a 96 TJ Watt. At middle linebacker, an 86 Devin Bush. At right outside linebacker, a 77 overall. At defensive back, they are pretty solid. An 85 overall Braden Harris and an 85 overall Xavier Howard. At free safety, a 97 overall Minka Fitzpatrick and at strong safety, a 77 overall Terrell Edmonds. So like I said, there is a scenario where we miss the playoffs, but if we win, we are in. So let's just go in with that mindset and get the job done today against Pittsburgh. I've decided to break out the alternates for this important game this year, so we will be rocking the red jerseys today. So we get the ball to start things. Let's get off to a good start. Spitzer first and 10 from the 25, and it's a handoff to Miles Sanders, and Sanders up the middle will get about five. On the next play from the 30-yard line, Spitzer's going under center with Sanders in the backfield. It is a pass play. He drops back, and he throws to the outside. That is caught by John Wilson for the first down. First and 10, Spitzer in shotgun from the 37-yard line. He will take the snap and look to pass. He's under pressure, goes over the middle, finds Michael Gallup, and Gallup will get close to the marker unless they give him the first, which they will. So a new set of downs for the Texans, this time from the 47-yard line. Spitzer out of shotgun yet again. Sanders in the backfield, but it will be a pass play. He stands in the pocket, goes deep down the left side. That's caught and knocked out of his receiver's hands. So second and 10, Spitzer and shotgun from the 47. Will draw back to pass again. They're bringing a blitz. He's under pressure, gets rid of the ball deep down the right side. That's caught, but I think he's out of bounds. That was intended for Gabe Waddle. Now third and 10, looking to keep the drive moving and no blocking whatsoever. Everyone got through. I understand that was a screen, but you've at least got to chip a player like TJ Watt. So out comes the Pittsburgh offense, led by quarterback Jalen Hurts, and it's a handoff to Najee Harris on the first play, who runs through Justin Reed and gets to the 17. Second and two, Jalen in shotgun from the 17. We'll take the snap. It's another handoff to Najee Harris, and that is a first down for Pittsburgh. First and 10, Jalen in shotgun from the 22. Eight and a half minutes to go in the game. Another handoff to Najee Harris, and he runs through a Texan, makes another man miss, and gets close to the marker, a gain of nine. Second and one, Jalen in shotgun, Najee in the backfield. It's a handoff to Harris up the middle and another Pittsburgh first down. Four plays and four carries from Najee Harris. First and 10 from the 32, it will be a pass play from Jalen. He steps up, goes downfield and finds a man open for the first down. Jalen with a little bit of a homecoming today. He is from Houston. Now from the 47 yard line on first and 10 and it is a toss play out to a receiver. He gets to the edge and will get about five yards. Second and five, Jalen going under center from the 48. With Najee in the backfield, he drops back to pass, goes to the outside, caught by his tight end, and that's a first down. Never mind, that's still the receiver again. A four-yard pass to Najee Harris will set up second and six. Now Jalen in shotgun from the 38 will take the snap, look to pass, throw it underneath, caught by Fryermuth, and he's got close to the marker to the 32. Third and one, a chance to finally stop this drive. Jalen will drop back to pass, and it's a quick throw in, caught by Deontay Johnson for the first down. First and 10, Jalen going under center with Najee in the backfield from the 26 yard line. Five minutes to go here in the first quarter. They are chewing off a lot of this first quarter clock. Hand off to Harris and he is going nowhere. Second and 10, Jalen and shotgun from the 26. Will take the snap, look to pass. And he's run out to his right side. Jalen's just gonna take off. He has some room and will slide down after a five yard game. Third and five, Jalen and shotgun from the 21. Four minutes to go in the first quarter now. He will take the snap and look to pass. Now he's rolling out to his left side and he's gonna take off again and Hurts will slide. Will they give him the first? It's another five yard gain and they rule it fourth and inches. So we finally slow down their offense a little bit and they will send out their kicker for about a 33 yard field goal to try to take a three nothing lead. Kick is away and it is good. 
Let's see if our offense can do anything now. First and 10 from the 25, and Ramondre Stevenson's in it running back. That's where we go with it, and Stevenson breaking tackles. We'll get about a five-yard gain. Second and five from the 30. Spitzer under center. Sanders in the backfield. We'll take the snap and look to pass. And he is going to be sacked on the play as that was just a pocket collapse quickly. Yeah, that call didn't really sound too good as it was leaving my mouth either. Now third and nine. Looking to keep the drive alive, and he will find an open, I believe, Lamar Boswell down to the 48 for the first down. First and 10. Spitzer under center from the 48. We'll take the snap. It's a play action. And he goes downfield. That is caught by Lamar Boswell down the sideline. Had he stayed in bounds, that was a touchdown. First and 10 from the 26. Under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Spitzer out of shotgun will take the snap. And there's a blitz coming, but he throws underneath. That is caught, I believe, Michael Gallup down to the, about the 10. Second and nine. A minute to go in the first quarter. It is a pass play. He throws to the outside, caught by John Wilson, and Wilson will fight his way down to the one. I thought he was going to get in for a second. Third and inches. He takes the snap. It's a quick pass. Touchdown, Lamar Boswell. His third catch on the drive, and we take a 7-3 lead. The Steelers come out on first and 10 and get a four-yard gain to Najee Harris, and that would end the first quarter, so we jump to the second. And on second and six, a one-yard gain from Harris, and on third and four, 21 to Deontay Johnson. First and 10, 16 to fire move. One more first down and we'll jump in, and there it is. We jump into this drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10, Jalen under center with Harris in the backfield, and it's a play action to Nashi Harris. Jalen looking downfield, rolling out to his right side, and he is going to take off again and will slide down at about the 19. Second and six, Jalen and shotgun from the 19 here. No one in the backfield with him. He'll take the snap and roll to his right side again. Throw on the run. Caught by Harris, and he is brought down at the 15. Third and three. Jalen in shotgun from the 15-yard line. Najee Harris in the backfield. Will look to pass here. He rolls up to his right side again. Throws on the run to a wide-open man at the five-yard line, and he's brought down at the three. First and goal. Jalen in pistol formation with Najee in the backfield here. I imagine this ball is going right to Najee Harris, and the defense looks to be lined up for it, but it's a quick toss to Deontay Johnson, and he gets nothing on that play. A loss of two. Jalen Hurts is 12 of 12 to start the day. He has yet to throw an incomplete pass. Now second and goal. He draws back to pass again, and still no incomplete passes as he throws a touchdown to Deontay Johnson, and the Steelers take the lead. Let's see what we can do through simulation here. First and 10, a six-yard loss from Derek Terry. So that leads to second and 16, a four-yard gain from Sanders. And on third and 12, an eight-yard gain to DJ Chark. That will not be enough, and we'll punt it away. So now the Steelers take over at the seven. First and 10, a six-yard gain from Najee Harris. Second and four, 20 to Pat Fryermuth. First and 10, dropped by Terry Branson, which would be Jalen's first incomplete pass. Now second and 10. Deontay for 10, and that will make up a third and one, and a negative three-yard run from Harris, so they will punt it back to Houston. So now from the seven, can Houston put together a drive? A nine-yard game from Sanders. Second and one, two from Ramondre Stevenson, so that's a first down, and then he throws it away. So second and 10, negative one from Sanders. So on third and 11, we throw it away, and we'll punt the ball back to Houston again. Or I'm sorry, back to Pittsburgh again. So now first and 10 from the 10-yard line for Pittsburgh, a negative two-yard run from Najee Harris. Second and 12, Deontay Johnson for 13 and the first down. First and 10, two from Jalen Hurts. Second and eight, five from Deontay Johnson. And on third and three, he throws it away. So we get the ball back one more time before halftime. Let's jump in and watch our two-minute offense, see if we can get a touchdown here. From the 35-yard line, 2.06 to go in the half. Spencer will take the snap and throw underneath. Caught by Tyson, who is running wide open, and he is brought down at about the 45-yard line. I guess he wasn't really wide open. There was a defender right behind him. He just couldn't get him. Now first and 10 from Pittsburgh Territory. A quick throw over the middle caught by Gabe Waddle, and he will be brought down to the 38. Second and three. Spitzer and Shotgun will take the snap, and it's a quick throw that is incomplete. Knocked out of the air. That leads to third and three. Spitzer and Shotgun from the 38-yard line will take the snap. He stands in the pocket, goes over the middle of the field. That is caught by Gallup, and he's down inside the 20. First and 10, a minute five to go here in the game. Spitzer takes the snap, stands in the pocket, and he throws underneath, caught by DJ Chark, and he's going to be brought down inside the 10, down at the 8. Second and one, Spitzer and Shotgun from the 8-yard line. A quick throw over the middle. That is caught and brought down as Michael Gallup down at the 3. A quick run from Sanders would set us up at the 1-yard line. Now Spitzer under pressure will be sacked back at the 10. Third and goal, Spitzer in shotgun, will take the snap. Hopefully not to settle for a field goal, and he's sacked on the play and fumbles the ball, and Pittsburgh recovers. Okay, I guess I would have rather settled for a field goal than that. 
So Pittsburgh gets the ball to start the second half up 10 to seven on first and 10, a five yard gain to Najee Harris, second and five, two from Harris. On third and three, a five yard penalty against Grant Delpit and a first down for Pittsburgh. And then, okay, that was much bigger than a five yard penalty. They are now set up at the 30 yard line. There may have been a five yard penalty tacked onto the end of a play, but they definitely did not move to the 50 from a five yard penalty. Now from the 30 yard line, Jalen out of shotgun will take the snap, hand off to Harris up the middle and Harris will break a couple tackles and finally get brought down to the 25. A two yard run from Harris would set up third and three and Jalen's going under center at the 23 yard line. And it's a play action, Jalen looking to pass and he throws over the middle to an open Deontay Johnson and he is brought down at the five. For Sheldon Peterson having a high 90s man coverage, he cannot cover man very well. Now first and goal from the five. Takes a snap, hands off to Harris, and Najee Harris fighting his way all the way down to the two-yard line. Second and goal, Jalen going under center. Najee Harris still in the backfield. He takes a snap, it's a play action, a quick throw to the end zone, and dropped by his tight end. Third and goal, we can keep this a one-score game defense. Please just stop them here. And it's a handoff to Najee Harris, and he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Now we need the offense to come out and get some points, and Joe Spitzer starts with an incomplete pass on first down. Second and 10, sacked by TJ Watt to set up third and 14, and sacked by Yeter Gross Matos. I'm going to hope I'm saying that right, but that sets up a fourth and 19, and we would punt the ball away. So Pittsburgh takes over at the 50-yard line after the punt return, and on first and 10, a nine-yard game from Najee Harris. Second and one, 13 to Deontay Johnson. On first and 10, eight from Najee Harris to the 19. And on second and two, sacked by Demarcus Lawrence for a loss of 10 to set up third and 11. And on third and 11, knocked away by Pat Brigant. So on fourth and 11, they kick the field goal to go up 20 to seven. All right, Spencer, now would be a great time to wake up. First and 10, loss of three from Sanders. Second and 13, another loss of three. Third and 15, Michael Gallup for 14 will not be enough. And on fourth and one, we punt it away. The offense has not played well today. On first and 10 for Pittsburgh, a one yard rush from Braden Campbell. On second and nine, he throws it away. And on third and nine, a five yard penalty against Davon Hamilton would lead to a third and four situation and he throws it away. So now they will punt the ball back again and we are nearing the end of the third quarter. Can the offense finally wake up? First and 10, 12 to Lamar Boswell would end the third quarter. We start the fourth quarter with a first and 10 and a 17 yard gain to Gallup. On the next play, a sack by TJ Watt for a loss of eight. On second and 18, he throws it away. And on third and 18, we hit DJ Chark for 19. All right, let's watch the offense and see if we can finally get back into the end zone. First and 10 from the 37. Spitzer takes a snap, hands off to Sanders, and he will get hit in the backfield for a loss of one. Spitzer in shotgun from the 38. He will take the snap. Look to pass. He's under pressure and will be sacked by TJ Watt again, this time back at the 49. They have sacked Spitzer eight times today. Now third and 24, we need a miracle to convert this. Spitzer, it's a screen pass to Sanders and he will be hit in the backfield at the 45. On first and 10, Pittsburgh gets an eight yard game from Najee Harris. On second and two, another eight yard game from Harris. First and 10, he throws it away. Second and 10, nine to Braden Campbell to set up third and one and he throws it away. So now they will punt again. And we really need to score on this drive. Six minutes to go, down by 14. We need the offense to wake up. All right, Spitzer. First and 10 from the six. Let's see if you can do this. On the first play, he will drop back to pass and throw over the middle, caught by Sanders, who was absolutely leveled, but holds onto the ball for a gain of five, which would set up second and five. Spitzer comes out in shotgun on this play from the 11. He sends a man in motion. He is now all alone in the backfield. He finally takes the snap and looking to pass downfield and is going to get sacked in the end zone by TJ Watt. Are you kidding me? Sometimes we look like the greatest show on turf Rams offense and sometimes we look like how the hell do we even fight for a playoff spot. But Pittsburgh gets the ball after a touchback on the safety punt and gets a 20 yard gain to Campbell. And now on the next play, a two yard gain from Hertz, second and eight, four from Harris. And on third and four, knocked away by Justin Reed. All right, so they will now punt it away. We get the ball to 20 with four minutes to go. This is still a two score game. We will need a two point conversion, but here on first and 10, you're gonna get sacked again by TJ Watt, aren't you? Never mind, he actually throws the ball away. I wish you would learn to do that like every time, but now second and 10. Spitzer out of shotgun from the 20, will take the snap and look to pass, go to the outside, and that's caught by Lamar Boswell, and he's brought down to the 27. Third and three, and we need a little bit more urgency on this offense. Spitzer out of shotgun from the 27, will take the snap and look to pass. 
And he goes over the middle of the field. That is caught, I believe, Lamar Boswell again, this time to the 43. First and 10, Spitzer and Shotgun from the 43-yard line. Three minutes to go in the game now. He will send Miles Sanders in motion. Once again, we need a little bit more agency out of this offense, please. Spencer will take the snap and go to the left side. That is caught by John Wilson for the first down into Pittsburgh territory. First and 10, two and a half minutes to go in the game. Spitzer out of shotgun. Will look to pass again. Stand in the pocket, over the middle. Once again, Lamar Boswell, this time down to the 23. Nearing the two minute warning, 2.04 to go in the game. Spitzer out of shotgun, will not let it hit the two minute warning and it's a screen pass that's incomplete. Second and 10, two minutes to go in the game now. Spitzer takes the snap out of shotgun. He goes over the middle of the field. That's once again caught this time by Michael Gallup down to the three. From the three yard line, we're in shotgun again. First and goal. Spitzer, quick throw to the end zone and that is intercepted on the play and that should seal the deal for Pittsburgh. Final score, 22 to seven. And we did not look like a playoff team today. We had a chance there at the end to try to get back into it. Spitzer throws a pick in the end zone. And then we couldn't even stop Najee Harris from getting a first down on their next drive anyway, even though we had all three timeouts. So Pittsburgh was able to run down the rest of the clock. Now let's just go look at stats and then see if we somehow got into the playoffs. Spitzer finishes with a QBR of 92.8, goes 24 of 35 for 300 yards, one touchdown and a pick. On the ground, Sanders runs for 12 yards. We had 20 total rushing yards today. Through the air, Lamar Boswell, seven catches for 100 yards. I think most of those were on that last drive and he got a touchdown. Michael Gallup, seven for 104, and then no one else really did anything, including Brian Tyson, who was held to one catch for 21 yards. On defense, Grant Delpit and Justin Reed lead the team in tackles with eight tackles for a loss. It looks like a few players got one. And sacks, Demarcus Lawrence is the only one to get any, and we got no interceptions. Jalen Hurts, not gonna lie, played one hell of a game. He goes 23 of 32 for 253 and a touchdown. On the ground, Najee Harris, 103 yards and a touchdown. And through the air, Deontay Johnson, 9 for 89 and a touchdown, and Braden Campbell, 5 for 63. It looks like Joe Spitzer has an upgrade. We will upgrade his improviser. Just try to get him some more throw on the run. Maybe he'll start to actually do it. Plus one to break sack, plus one to throw on the run, and plus two to throw under pressure. It does hurt a little bit to see that Tennessee actually beat Jacksonville. So had we beaten the Steelers, we would have got in as the two seed. But with that final win, the Steelers go to the one seed. We are the six seed. Tennessee is the seven seed. So they get a rematch against Jacksonville. But in the first round of the playoffs, we get to play Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. We do get Laramie Tunsil and Ross Freeman back. So we have our starting left tackle and our starting center back for this game, which is big. We're going to need all the help we can get in order to beat this team. But obviously, this will be the next video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you guys next time.